It's London Donovan! The year was 2019, and there was a nectarine in the Oval Office. Stop it. Club purchase Christian Pulisic. Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> Christian Pulisic! Oh, that's hot. The Good evening, everyone! That's legitimately the main reason I decided to do this epi. I thought to myself, what's another excuse we could come up with to use N'Golo Kante so I could say, Good evening, evening everyone. everyone! What's happening, boys? And welcome to Captain America, a.k.a. the hero from Hershey, Christian Pulisic, the most expensive transfer in American history, or the most expensive transfer... The most expensive American transfer in football history goes from Dortmund to Chelsea. Currently is already purchased by Chelsea for 65 million euros, I believe it is. Uh, and he is currently being loaned out till the end of the season. So he's going to remain with Dortmund till the end of the season. You guys, if you guys watch the channel, if you guys follow football at all, you guys probably know this already. Um, it happened a couple days ago, but you know we had to do it. We love ourselves, American players. You know we had to do it. Captain America, we tr we had so many Clint Dempsey, Lando, uh, Lando Calrissian uh, episodes over the course of the years and over the course of the years. And now there is a chance that we have another youngster in the form of Christian Pulisic. Like I said, the hero from Hershey who's going to be able to represent the U.S. Say, and this is probably one of my favorite kits. I'm not gonna lie. I got this. Uh, I got this at, I believe it was the E3 event over the course of the summer, and um, I, I try to find every excuse I can to wear it. So Christian Pulisic, 27,000 coins is what he goes for in FIFA. Like I said, 64 million euros is what he went for uh, in real life. Now the interesting thing and the question I have for Chelsea supporters is. Is, is, is Willie on on the way out? I feel like Hazard's gonna stay at Chelsea. I feel like he just has, he's got such a rapport with the entire club. I think he's gonna stay there. The only team, the only place I could see him going to is going to is going to Real Madrid, but I think he stays at Chelsea. Now, like I said, the question is, if you're a Chelsea supporter, let me know what you think about the Pulisic move. Some people think it's strictly a marketing business move. It sounds like a pretty expensive 64 million euro um, marketing move, but if you really think about it, it's, it's a big deal here in the States. Because, um, I mean, you know, whether or not you think that uh, an American going to Chelsea is going to affect how many Americans are going to watch the Premier League, I, I can tell you right now, a lot more people are going to tune in because this young lad, because this young mad lad is going to be playing uh, is going to be playing for Chelsea. Now, whether he starts or not, that's another question, but he will be, in fact, starting in today's epi. We're doing another transfer episode here. You guys love these. If you guys like this one, if you guys want to see some more, drop a like on the video. Let's aim for 2,584 likes for the young Christian Pulisic going to Chelsea episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. His highest ever rated card was FIFA 17, had himself an 88 team of the season card uh, in the Bundesliga. That's when he did absolute bits for Dortmund. I don't want to say drop off, but it wasn't quite that FIFA 17. It quite, wasn't quite that 2016-2017 season. So, like I said, boys, we put together a full Chelsea side. We're going to try. We're going to switch to the 4 one 2 one 2 once we get in game. Giroud is going to... Is Giroud coming off? Who's staying in? Moses? Who are we taking off? I think we're taking him off for Giroud. God, dude, that's so that's so depressing. I kind of want to keep Giroud in. Hazard's going to be our right striker. We're going to have Willian as our cam. And then we are going to have... Uh, Christian Pulisic as our left striker, and then a, a couple other really exciting players. Um, most notably, a lot of players that have gone for a lot of coin, a, a lot of uh, in real life dollars. We've got Kepa, who came on for what was it, 70 million? Ch Chelsea's known for burning some burning some dollar. Uh, let's see, who else is there? Um, Bachwai, 40 million, 30, 35, 40 million for, for Morata, 30 million dollars for, for Danny Drinkwater. Oh, here's another interesting thing. Sorry had no idea. When they asked him about Pulisic the day that he signed, Sarri was like, I actually have no idea that we signed him. And that was the first that he heard about it when the reporters were asking him what he, what he thought about um, the Pulisic signing. He actually had no idea what they were... He had no idea that he had signed already. He knew it was like sort of in the plans, but he didn't know it was a done deal. All right, boys, match from Here we go now. Little bit of trivia. He is the second most expensive player to ever leave Dortmund. Who's the first most expensive player to leave Dortmund? It's not really that, it's not really that hard. Most everyone's going to get this. And now we've got, what, four or five American players in the Premier League? we got Yedlin, who was going to feature here. He's the only non-Chelsea player. And then we've also got, um, what's his name? Uh, Gelalim for Arsenal. Silver player in FIFA. I think his name is Gelalim. Come on, Hazard. Is that agility? Come on, bro. That's what you expect from a 1.4. Well, we got him for 1.3, so technically it was a bargain. 1.375 million coins. When we sell him, we're most definitely going to lose out on him unless we... What, what would we have to do to break even? If it's 5% tax on EA, 
We bought him for 1.37. We would need to sell him for like 1.41 or something so we don't lose out. Oof, what a strike. Yo, that Hazard card is nuts. EA Sports. Referee, no. Damn, he just got kicked into Dupree's. Could you imagine? <laughs> hey, referee, come on! Could you imagine Pulisic and Eden Hazard linking up? Imagine if Pulisic actually ends up, like, exceeding the expectations. Could you imagine? Who do they give it? Alonso? What does is, what is Pulisic have for pens? Hey, 71 pens, not bad, you know? We're gonna send him to the right, and we're gonna go left. Bite the gates, Jungs! Come on, Christian, Chelsea, Christian Pulisic, dead fish, and for whatever reason, the dead fish didn't work there. 2-0, Hazard with the first goal in the first five minutes, and then we kick things off with a spicy little Pulisic goal. Very well de deserved to score that one, to be fair. Got taken down in just an absolutely atrocious, atrocious foul. Good evening, everyone. Is he gonna set up Christian? Uh, fully! He's a winger, he's not a finisher, right? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Stop. After a half of play, if this is representative of what he would mean to the club in real life, 61% possession, he's absolutely crushing me there. But six shots, three on target, we get ourselves two goals, one with Eden Hazard, and then another with that newly arrived Christian Pulisic. What else is there, Kepa? Oh yeah, interesting little fact, 83 rated, I, I was looking at the keepers and I was like, you know what, it's very strange that Chelsea, top five club in uh, in the Premier League right now, uh, in, terms of this, uh, in terms of the table, doesn't have a keeper over the over the rating of 84 or 85. 83, Kepa Arizbilaga. Can almost guarantee he's gonna be an 84 or 85 rated card next year, right? Is he, is he too young for that? Second behind Ali Sun's 12 clean sheets with nine for, um, for Kepa Lika. Oh, come on, man, that's two misses. Are you kidding me? He's got the agility of dreams, man, but finishing is just not his forte. I mean, obviously, he doesn't, doesn't have the rating for it, but come on, man. Guarantee if we had Conte in front of the net, he'd be finishing those. Guarantee if we had Conte in front of the net, he'd be finishing those. Never mind. Go. Come on! Yes! Eden Hazard! 3-1. I don't know what I don't know what Atani was talking about. Apparently Atani didn't really like him. Now. I didn't rush the whole review, but if it's if the argument is is he worth 1.4 million coins, maybe that's a valid maybe that's a valid point. But uh, as of right now, he's been incredible for me. What does he have? Uh, two goal uh, two goals and an assist. Good evening, everyone. Speaking of Gareth Bale, dude, 18th injury at Real Madrid. It's cost him what? I read uh read something. It cost him like 70 70 matches so far for Real Madrid. 18 injuries, 75 matches missed. That's crazy. Match number one, couldn't have gotten off to a better start. Now, this match says more about that Eden Hazard. 9.3, two goals, uh, and then also gets himself an assist. So, involved in every goal that we scored in this one. Uh, Jake Terminator, sorry, bro. Had to had to do it to you, dude. But young Christian Pulisic, you know, he, he was all right. But obviously, as a winger, at playing him as a striker is a little bit risky. But uh, with the chemistry style that we, that we used on him, he should go up to like, um, he should have like 84, 85... Finishing. Did not feel that way at all. Good evening, everyone! God, I love him. I think he might be my favorite active player. I mean, like, outside of, obviously, Podolski and Schweinsteiger, but I think he actually might be my favorite. Whoa! Okay. Uh, 186 with not a lone icon, uh, Rivaldo. He's got himself just the proper prime icon, Rivaldo. Uh, Firmino, uh, Kondogbia, and then Ben Yedder, the French connection. He's got Rashford, who we packed in our red rewards. You would have seen that yesterday. Umtiti, Kempembe, Walker, Loris, and then I didn't see who we had there at left back. But my dear lord, what a squad. You tell me we gotta get, Pulisic has to get through Kondog B and the French connection? Alright. I'm ready for it. We got that Eden Hazard? Anything's possible with that Eden card. 
Gluten, everyone, he's the best. He's the absolute best. Really on. Wrath, thank you. I'm telling you, if you guys want a quick little tip on how to get a few extra goals per match, or maybe like an extra goal per match, body faint in the box. I swear, at least every match, I get at least one of these. Uh, who are we switching out? We're gonna give it, you know, we're gonna give it to Young Pools, like just so we can pad his stats a little bit. We're gonna send him, we're gonna send him to the right. We're gonna go left. Bite the gets, Yonks! Come on, Christian Pools, like dead fish. Forgot how to do the dead fish. It's left, it's left trigger, and then left on the right analog stick twice. The touch on that pass. Yo, that was actually a really nice pass. Oh, wow. What? How did he miss that? He doesn't miss that. Oh, man, that's tough. I'm not going to lie. That's tough. Please, ah, oh, another one. Another one that just misses. Christian Pulisic time finesse. The Christian Pulisic timed red finesse. And uh, we get her, okay. Hey, there we go. His, uh, what is that, his second goal? Second goal of the episode, and, and maybe no more important one than that. And it's a red type finesse. Imagine if we could, imagine if we were good enough that we could actually hit that yellow consistently. I don't know what it is, but I, I just panic. Oh, that's, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame for that one. That's a tough finish. Mm, that's like four or five misses. Dude, showing glimpses of brilliance. He's showing glimpses of brilliance, but I, I just don't think he's he's not ready. And there you have it, boys. Two matches, two victories. Again, sh showed glimpses of that uh, of that spark, of that energy. Two goals in the second match. Um, and uh, obviously scored us the two goals that, that won us the match. None more important than that red time finesse shot that somehow went through. 16 shots, 11 on target. Actually, absolutely dragged this guy uh, drag this guy through the woodwork. Is that an actual saying? We get, uh, we get an assist, and then we get two goals, obviously, from Christian Pulisic. So he is up to, I think, what is that? Three or, that's three or four goal contributions in two matches played. Let's see what he's going for right now. List on the transfer market. Bought for 1.375. Selling for 1.4. Alright, so we might actually, you know what? All things might not be lost. If we sell him for 1.4... If you guys have tried out this 93 Hazard, uh, Hazard, let me know how he's performed for you. It was very fun. The combo of Ampadu and then David Luiz and then the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation was actually very OP. We didn't concede many goals um, and was just a very, very nice, uh, very, very nice formation use. Looking forward to trying it out on Zueda Glory in a full 30 matches of gameplay uh, on a full 30 matches of foot chance. But anyway, boys, that is the Christian Pulisic, the hero from Hershey. Captain America goes to the Premier League episodia. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it in the comments. Oh, by the way, we've got our own custom team of the year voting link it's not too late team of the year uh we've got about 24 hours left i will leave a link in the description ea put it together for me it's an actual link that you guys will be able to submit and it'll be more official than the straw poll the straw poll is still going to count towards how the team's going to look but this will be your actual actual vote so make sure you go ham in the descriptions where i'm going to have the updated link just click it uh, set your team of the year and then make sure you tweet at me whatever you guys select but anyway boys uh make sure to click that that link will be in the description below but anyway boys i will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time Tschüss, later, a day.